You can't sleep. For the second night in a row, you're tossing and turning until you finally give up and get out of bed. You don't know why your sleep cycle is so disrupted, but you were exhausted today and you know tomorrow is going to be even worse as sleep deprivation affects your mind. But you can tell you're not going to sleep anytime soon, so you figure you might as well spend some time on the internet. Maybe it can tell you a little more about why you can't sleep. A quick Google of sleep deprivation shows you there are many causes, including insomnia, sleep apnea, and stress. They suggest some cures, but you've tried most of them and they aren't working. You wonder, how long can a person go without sleep? Well, it turns out many people have tried to answer just that. Sleep experiments are more common than you thought, with scientists researching the long-term effects of no sleep on people and animals. Some of them have shocking and disturbing results, including one that makes you even more sure you're not going to sleep now. But you can't stop reading as you find stories of the most shocking sleep experiments ever. Number 10. You're not getting paid for sleep deprivation, but that wasn't the case for lucky contestants on Awake, the million dollar game. This Netflix game show tested the effects of 24 hours of sleep deprivation on contestants by making them spend an entire day in a room counting endless piles of coins without sleeping. When the full day was over, they were quizzed on how much they had counted, with the contestants who counted the least and were the least accurate being eliminated. The remaining contestants then participated in games of wits and dexterity while being exhausted, and it was obvious how much the lack of sleep was getting to them. Movements that should have been second nature resulted in them sliding all over the place. The last contestant standing had to guess the exact sum they had counted and had the chance of winning a million bucks if they were close enough. With only a day of sleep deprivation, no one suffered any ill effects, but none of the contestants seemed ready to push it any further. Sleep deprivation in game shows is nothing new. But what happens if you fill an entire house with people who haven't slept for a week straight? Number 9. Over in the UK, another TV producer decided to take a televised sleep experiment much further. Shattered took the format of popular shows like Big Brother, isolating strangers in a house together, and added the element of sleep deprivation by keeping people awake for a full week while they were tested in challenges. The contestants were competing for a prize pot of £100,000, but there was a nasty wrinkle. Anytime one of the contestants closed their eyes for more than 10 seconds, the pot lost £1,000. That's an expensive moment of rest. They faced memory tests and other mental games, as well as being tempted to fall asleep by relaxing challenges like getting a massage, counting sheep, and watching paint dry. Six were eliminated, one quit, and ultimately Claire Southern won the show, but the prize was down to £97,000 due to all the money lost. Although many people said the show was dangerous, none of the contestants reported any health issues after the game. Luckily, the game show contestants were found to have no lasting effects, but our next lab rat's brain would be so altered that he would live the rest of his life with a major identity crisis. Number 8. Radio presenter Peter Tripp put on one of the most famous sleep deprivation experiments ever for a children's charity. The host of a popular music countdown show, he announced that he would stay awake and broadcast his radio show for 201 hours straight, over 8 days. On the first two days, he had a lot of energy and seemed to be having fun, but on day three, things started getting odd. He was monitored by scientists and doctors, and they quickly started noticing weird behavior. At one point, he jumped up from his desk because he believed it was on fire, but no one else could see much as a wisp of smoke. Later, he ripped off his shoes in a panic because he was convinced they were full of spiders. Again, not a single spider was found. Observers speculated that he was hallucinating when his mind was supposed to be in its dream state. During the last three days, he was given drugs to help him stay awake. When he concluded his experiment raising a large sum for charity, he immediately slept for 13 hours straight. But his friends and family say he was never the same, even believing he wasn't the real Peter Tripp. But this was far from the most extreme attempt to push the limits of human endurance. Number 7. Sleep deprivation experiments done on humans abide by strict ethical standards. Because scientists want to make sure their charges don't suffer ill effects, or sue them for everything they're worth and turn their lab into a family restaurant. But scientists experimenting on animals don't have the same standards, and experiments on rats showed that long-term sleep deprivation can have deadly effects. Humans have a fail-safe in that we're able to micro-sleep, getting seconds of sleep at a time while we struggle to stay awake. Rats' more primitive brains don't have that ability, and a pair of experiments in 1983 and 1995 that kept rats from falling asleep through constant stimulation showed that their brains could only microsleep in one tiny part. The sleep-addled rodents all invariably died anywhere from 11 to 32 days after the experiment began. 
This proved that while the brain can survive sleep deprivation longer than most people will try, it has a limit. But that's nothing compared to what another scientist did with animal experimentation. Number 6. The year was 1984 and Russian doctor Maria Manasina wanted to determine what was more important to survival, sleep or food. She decided to test the theory by taking four puppies, making sure they were well fed, but keeping them from sleeping by constantly handling them and taking them for walks. The results were disturbing. Within four days, the first puppy was dead and the other four soon followed. Montesino wasn't sure if this was a fluke, so she immediately gathered six more puppies and repeated her experiment. The results were the same, with all six of her puppy subjects meeting their end soon. No one's sure if the brains of young animals are more vulnerable to sleep deprivation because their brains are still developing, but the experiment proved Manasina's theory that sleep is critical to the brain and animals can't function without it. But she's definitely not winning any awards from the Kennel Club for her research. Soon though, people started thinking about trying the same experiment on humans. Number 5. Only a year after Maria Manasina's experiment, the first similar experiment was conducted on humans at the University of Iowa. Three men volunteered, with the plan being for them to stay awake for 90 hours straight while being observed by scientists. That's almost four days, and during the first day all seemed normal. The men seemed groggy, a bit confused, but could function and answer questions. After the second day, things started to get disturbing. They reported hallucinations in the room, with one insisting that there was a greasy layer of molecular particles covering the floor. They stumbled around, trying to avoid the phantom grease on the floor. This was the first controlled study, and scientists watched to make sure no one hurt themselves or others before it was over. When the 90 hours were up, the men were allowed to sleep, but the scientists wanted to see just how soundly they would sleep after that experience. They all hit the three men with an electric shock, but none of them woke up. Their body's need to sleep overruled the pain. Sleeping so deeply you can stand an electric shock is starting to sound good right now. But this was far from the longest stretch people stayed awake for an experiment. Governments would soon get involved in sleep deprivation for very sinister purposes. Number 4. Most sleep deprivation experiments are designed to test the endurance of the human body for research. But what if the intention wasn't to see how much people could endure while staying healthy, but to break them down so they'd do whatever you wanted? That's what the CIA was found to be doing in 2005 when they admitted to sleep deprivation as a form of torture when interrogating high-level detainees. Common in the early 2000s as the US attempted to get information from captured militants, this method of torture involved keeping inmates from sleeping by constantly moving them around making them change cells, or waiting for them to fall asleep and then waking them up immediately with a start. The inmates became increasingly disoriented and fatigued, and more likely to slip up in interrogations and give away vital info. The maximum length that this torture was carried out? Over 180 hours, more than a week without sleep. Where did the US learn this tactic? The Soviets had been carrying it out for decades, and US spies were trained on how to resist it and use it for their own purposes. Some people aren't content experimenting with animals or other humans. Some researchers find that the only suitable test subject is themselves. Number 3. There are limits to organized sleep deprivation experiments, but how far will people push themselves in search of testing the limits? In 1938, two researchers, Nathaniel Kleitman and Bruce Richardson, decided to turn themselves into human guinea pigs by removing themselves from the natural sleep cycle. They moved into Kentucky's Mammoth Caves, a massive network of underground caves, for a full 32 days. No access to the sun, no sense of time, and no way to regulate their sleep cycle meant that their bodies would have to adapt quickly or they might go mad. While their results were inconclusive, they inspired sleep researcher Jurgen Ashoff to repeat the experiment two decades later in a more controlled environment. He studied the body temperatures of his subjects and determined that humans have a natural circadian rhythm that doesn't depend upon tracking the movement of the sun and natural light. But what if someone was inspired by this experiment and decided to take it further? Our next sleep deprivation experiment would change a man so profoundly he would no longer operate on the same time as the rest of us. Number 2. It was 1962 in the height of the Cold War, and the threat of nuclear war was enough to make getting away from it all seem pretty appealing. But for French geologist Michel Chiffre, he was about to take social distancing further than anyone ever had voluntarily. He decided to isolate himself in a frozen cave beneath a glacier for two whole months to figure out the effects of long-term solitary confinement on the human mind and the sleep cycle. Like the Mammoth Caves experiment, Sifra would be completely cut off from the sun and his body would have no way to tell time. 
He would have no contact with another human besides a research assistant who would be notified of Seifer's sleep schedule to keep track. Seifer completed his experiment and managed to maintain a regular sleep schedule, but when he was debriefed after he emerged, scientists discovered something very strange. Seifer no longer had a normal perception of time. As a part of the questions, he was asked to count to 120, one number per second. It took a whole five minutes for him to complete the count. Sifra's experiment went on so long he no longer ran on the same clock as everyone else, but that's nothing compared to what one young man did in an attempt to break the world record for sleep deprivation. Number 1. The year was 1964 and a high school student named Randy Gardner wanted to see just how far he could push the limits of human endurance. He wanted to break the record for the longest anyone had ever stayed awake. Wanting to make sure his feat was well documented for the history books, Gardner assembled a team of professionals to monitor his run to the record, including a Stanford sleep researcher. As the days wore on, Randy seemed to be weathering the sleep deprivation better than most, but as one day turned into another, he started becoming moody and paranoid. He reported hallucinations and found it hard to concentrate and remember things. One thing he didn't lose? His energy. As on day 10, he beat one of the researchers in a game of ping pong. By the time the experiment ended at a whopping 11 days and 24 minutes, Randy was still alert enough to hold a press conference and was found to be in good health. To no one's surprise, he fell asleep very quickly and slept the longest he had ever slept in his life, followed by another marathon session the next night. Randy Gardner was young, healthy, fully rested, and recovered, and the documented record holder for the longest anyone has stayed awake. You're feeling pretty tired now, and it might be time to try to fall asleep again, but you keep on hearing rumors about even crazier sleep experiments conducted halfway around the world. What is this mysterious Russian sleep experiment, and is it fact or fiction? To find out, why not watch Russian Sleep Experiment Explained, or check out this video instead.